In 1 John chapter 4, verse 1, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Here, the Bible gives you permission to test the prophets to see whether they're true or not. Why do people get so mad when you do this? All right, today I'm revisiting Julie Green. I did a video on her about 10 months ago, and uh, I started getting some comments today. Not sure why, but uh, one of the comments I got from a person named Breezy, uh, she said concerning Julie Green, she prophesied from the Lord back in December that Roe versus Wade would be overturned and that there would be riots in the streets and chaos would ensue. Now, first of all, none of this has happened yet. If this was indeed a prophecy, I don't know why Breezy's bragging on Julie Green. It hasn't happened. But in giving the benefit of the doubt and keeping to the biblical principles of 1 John 4, 1, I decided to test this. I wanted to see, uh, indeed, in fact, if this was true. So I began my quest on seeing if Julie Green indeed prophesied that Roe v. Wade would be overturned. Now, as I began my research to find the videos in question, uh, I could not find Julie Green's channel. So I'm not sure if uh, her channel was taken down or not. I did find this video, and uh, you can see there's Julie. We're going to listen to some clips here. <laughs> there's Lois Vogel Sharp. Uh, she always made me laugh. She's always late to the game. But uh, notice the title here, Roe vs. Wade Prophecy Fulfilled. Now, if the prophecy is that Roe vs. Wade was going to be overturned, well, that hasn't happened yet. So the title is very deceitful. It's 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 actually a lie. But here we go. We're gonna I'm gonna cue this up. We're gonna listen as we go and we'll comment. December third. Know your covenant with me. It is unstoppable. I want you to make a note of the date. Very important. And I'll explain why in just a minute. Let's listen. Roe versus Wade is being brought down, and the bail works have stopped in this nation. Morality is being brought back, and so is the blessing brought back to this nation. Great blessings will flow again in this nation. It's hard to see now, but this will come to pass. All will be restored to this nation. But this was a prophecy called the Hour of Change. There's another one from December 9th. This is called the Perfect Storm. And it's Brother. Note the date again. Very important. Write those down because it's going to mean something here in just a second. It says, these are the signs I told you about which are coming to pass. More prophecies are being fulfilled by the day. All hope is lost in the world for the enemy of my children. Riots are about to break out after the overturning of Roe versus Wade. Yet the enemy will try to fill the streets once again with chaos. But I, the Lord, will deal with the ones in the streets and the ones that drove them there to do this. There was another one I had back in October 30th of 2021. Called All right, so here's the third one, she says, from October 30th. Remember that date. Isn't it, don't you find it also amusing that these prophets who are supposed to be so close to God, they have to come out and do videos to kind of toot their own whistles, right? They're they're bragging on themselves. Look how awesome I am, uh, prophecy. And, and, and the fact is the prophecy has not come to pass anyway, but she wants to be out there so she can portray herself as some great one, right? It's sickening. Called the changing of your capital. Now my children shout with a voice of triumph. The ones who are standing may not be in many in number, but the remnant I have in this earth is mighty, great in my power to destroy evil and wickedness in this earth. Call down evil laws in the land. Call them down and completely destroy them. Roe versus Wade come down, and now you can no longer stand in this earth. So that third one was kind of sketchy, but we're still going to give her the benefit of the doubt as we are on a mission to uh, adhere to Holy Scripture and to test the Spirit. So is all of this true? Let's take a look. By the way, you can do this yourself. Uh, Google is for everyone, I hear. Uh, well, first we start at CNN Politics. This is their website. You can see the title there. Supreme Court hears abortion case challenging Roe versus Wade. Now, was this last week? No. This is from December 1st, 
2021. Oh, somebody's been reading the news. Very interesting. Now, if we read down, the article starts with the conservative-leaning Supreme Court, very important to remember that, conservative-leaning, heard oral arguments today. Is it May 10th today? No, no, no. This was from December 1st, 2021. In a Mississippi abortion case that could result in the repeal of Roe v. Wade, the 1973 landmark decision legalizing abortion nationwide prior to viability. Very interesting. Here's NPR. Roe v. Wade's future is in doubt after historic arguments at the Supreme Court. Again, was this last week? No, this was from December 1st, 2021. When was Julie's prophecy? Ah, December 3rd. Very, very interesting. But now I hear some of you saying, Excuse me, Mr. Bloom. Her prophecy was even from October, so you're, you're just touching God's anointed and you're doing them harm. I wouldn't want to be you, Drew. Here we are at Forbes. Look at the title. Supreme Court to hear abortion case December 1st that could overturn Roe v. Wade. When was this article written? Ah, before I... And you can continue. Here's some more. Here's the Washington Post from December 1st. Here's the SCOTUS blog talking about the future abortion case set for argument on December 1st. When was this? This was on September 20th. Here's CNBC. Here's the Guttmacher. I'm not sure what that is. Also citing December 1st. December 1st. Uh-oh. What's this? The New York Times. This was, I'm sorry, December 2nd. So it's really quite something. So what do we make of this? I mean, if you're a sober-minded Christian who serves the Lord Jesus Christ in truth and sincerity, what do you make of this? We come back to Breezy's comment again. She's bragging about Julie Green and defending Julie Green when I think it's pretty clear to see what Julie Green did. She watches the news. And when she does that, understanding that the Supreme Court justices have a majority in conservative justices, we kind of all knew that something like this was probably going to happen. And so did Julie. So what she did was she watched those or read those articles or watched the news. She knew what was happening. So she uttered those prophecies. And uh, now we see what's happening. It looks like it's a genuine prophecy, but indeed it's not. It's a joke. This is a pattern that the false prophets use. They rip things out of the headlines. And if you're paying attention, you'll notice that the prophecies never come before you see it in the news. They always come after. Guaranteed. I've asked several people to bring forth one prophecy that Julie has uttered that has come to pass that couldn't be found in the news or that wasn't a 50-50 shot or something so vague and obvious and nobody's been able to produce anything. They missed all the, you know, the Trump election. None of them prophesied COVID, on and on and on. It's an absolute joke. So I'm pretty sure we proved today that uh, Julie Green, again, and trust me, I have no problem in saying this, is that she's a false prophet. Uh, whether uh, Roe versus Wade is overturned or not, it was not a legitimate prophecy. So it doesn't even matter. Uh, them lying in the titles here, that should concern you. But either way, she's uh, unequivocally a false prophetess. I have no fear in saying that. I fear the Lord Jesus Christ and I serve him in truth and sober-mindedness. And no YouTube prophet is going to dictate my faith. My faith is in Jesus and the Word of God. And that is where I will stand firm. So you can put your comments. That's fine. Um, but trust me, I've heard it all. Touch not uh, God's anointed and do thy prophets no harm. It's ridiculous. Uh, she's not a prophet. So for all of you that serve Jesus Christ in truth and sober-mindedness and sincerity, read your Bible. Spend time in prayer and seek the Lord through his word.